Hey friends, this is Eunice. Thank you for joining me today. Today I just wanted to um, share a scripture with you. Um, it is Psalm 29 11. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. And so I just wanted to ask a quick question is, does your home feel peaceful? Now, I just wanted to share a tip, if your answer is no, of how the Lord has brought some measure of just like peace and order to our home. So um, for those who don't know me, I have five kids and I had my first three kids in two and a half years. And so there were just survival years. Like there were times where we were just surviving, my husband and I. We... Um, we're taking care of three kids in diapers. Honestly, all three of them were in diapers at one point. And so our life was pretty chaotic, you know. Um, and I just remember one time my husband came home and he walked in and there's just like an explosion of toys in the living room. And our kitchen just was like dishes piled high. The counters were all covered with pans. And then like you walk into the kid, the boy's bedroom and there were toys everywhere, toys scattering in the hallways. And something that um, my husband and I realized is like, you know, that day I was just crying and I was like, oh, my, our life is like overwhelming. I was overwhelmed. Like it just, our house just felt chaotic all the time. And so my husband and I decided that just like, you know, a whole list of all these things that needed to improve in our household to make it orderly was just completely overwhelming me. And so I just thought of just, I feel like the Lord gave me this idea is like, Eunice, what is one thing you could do to make the house more peaceful? each day and so the thing the lord gave chris and i back then was just to make sure that the kitchen was clean so at the, at the end of the day we just wanted the countertops to be clean we just wanted the dining room table to be neat and wiped down and that was like the one thing that we worked toward to making our house just a more peaceful place and so the reason why I thought to share this with you all is right now in this coronavirus season, a lot of us are home so much more. And so I think our houses need to be a place of peace or we're just going to be overwhelmed and frazzled and stressed out all the time. And so I just wanted to share that thought with you is like, in each family of course when you look at your household there's a lot of imperfections and you're like oh i could easily do this or this or this but i encourage you to sit down with your husband for 15 to 30 minutes and just talk about like i wonder what one thing is we could do in our house that would make it just more peaceful each day like a goal that we can work toward so it's funny because when my kids were quite little my husband and i decided that thing about you know the countertops would be neat um, and orderly and also the um, dining room table would just be put away and there wouldn't be like old food sitting there or snack bags everywhere and things like that and so that's something that over the years I've worked toward and the interesting thing is is even recently one of my teenage sons came up after I'm um, waking up in the morning and he was looking at the kitchen counter and he was like mom you know I love when our um, countertops are clean it just makes me feel like I'm ready to face my day and I thought that was so funny because that was actually a rhythm that we were intentional about when he was a baby to try a goal to reach toward each day that at night we could have the kitchen counters clean the dining room table um, put away and um, you know it's funny how that actually is something that has brought him some peace and security in his life. And so I just want to encourage you. I don't want to overwhelm you with this, but just really like sit down with your husband and think of just what is one thing in our house this week that we can work toward to make our home a more peaceful place. Now, something that I just want to challenge people with, though, is like, I feel like people look at my life and they're like, oh, it's because like, you know, um, you have a bigger home now and you don't really know like our family size, our space size. That is true. I don't know. Everyone is different. 
but something in our life that's unique is because we have moved so much we have actually lived in a lot of small homes our last two homes were apartments overseas and so it's funny because one was um, 1200 square feet and the other was 1500 square feet and so those were our last two homes where all seven of us lived but I would say um, even in those homes we had that rhythm of just okay we're gonna make sure the countertops are put away uh, the dining room table is put away and I would say even living in our smaller spaces with seven people we never felt that overwhelmed with our clutter and um, things because we were really intentional to just still have that rhythm of like okay here's the one area of peace we're gonna have in our house and it's gonna be neat and orderly we could still invite people over and it's not overwhelming and so I just want to encourage you like no matter what your house size is is I do think that the Lord can give you creative ideas to just bring a peaceful atmosphere into your home. And sometimes that could just be the Holy Spirit's presence, but sometimes that could also be just like, hmm, what are areas in our house that are just comfortable to be in because we've made it a peaceful place? So I encourage you with that thought, and I hope you are having a fabulous week. Have a good day. Bye.